Hello everybody, welcome to lesson 13 on batch file scripting. Um, it's been a while since I've created an episode, or a lesson, and, and in this lesson it's actually not going to be something that advanced, it's actually just going to be um, comments or remarks and how to add blank lines in a batch file, because some of you want to make spaces in between your lines, and I'll be showing you how to do that this lesson. So I should have ta taught you guys this a lot earlier, but... I forgot completely. So just set up a batch file. I'm using Notepad++. You can use Notepad if you want. So add echo off. And here's how you add a blank line. You just put echo and then a full stop. So a period. Right there. Don't put a space in between them. Just that. And then if we, you could uh, repeat this in order to make new lines. Like that. So then let's actually put a line. Testing. So this is just going to be all blank spaces. And then let's pause so it doesn't close. So let's test this. File, save. I already have it saved right here. Comments and blanks. Let's run it. As you can see, there's four spaces and then testing. Press any key to continue is the pause command. So now let's uh, do some comments. So commenting is actually very important, especially when you get into more advanced uh, languages like Java, C++, C Sharp. Because if you want to look back at your code, if you're or if you're trying to debug something, um, comments will help you understand what's going on in the code. So if because if you wrote it a long time ago, you won't be able to remember. So t there's two ways to add comments, also known as remarks. So the first way is just putting rem. So that just stands for remark, and then putting in anything you want. So this line will not show in a batch, and it won't make a blank space either. So just put causes blank spate lines okay that's for that and the second way of adding um uh, a remark or a comment is by putting in two colons and then clicking space and then typing in anything you want so this won't show and this won't make any spaces it won't even be executed so just put in something like line above is the only above and below are visible okay so let's save this file save and let's run this and as you can see we can't see any of the remarks or uh, comments because we it works completely and it's just basically the exact same file but if we're going back to it to see what we did here we could easily tell what's going on so that's it for this lesson. I'm sorry, but it, it that's the most I can fit into this lesson regarding comments and blank lines. I'm sure a lot of you needed to know that in order to make your batch files look more useful and uh, understanding your code a bit uh, better. So this is uh, episode 13, or lesson 13, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Please do comment, rate, and subscribe. And in batch file uh, scripting lesson 14, we will be... Actually, I don't even know what we're going to be doing in the next lesson, but it's hopefully going to be awesome. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.